Welcome to Dr. Berg's stretching video. You are about to learn an incredible method of stretching that will not only greatly speed up your progress in stretching, but can keep you balanced, symmetrical, and feeling great. These maneuvers are very different than traditional stretching. Traditional stretching stretches the tight muscle. Dr. Berg found this to be very slow and non-effective. While there's nothing wrong with stretching, there's a lot wrong with having to spend weeks with very little progress. The goal of these procedures is to locate the tight muscle and balance it to the opposite side. You will usually find one side tight. Once you identify the tight side from comparing left to right, front to back in some cases, you will not stretch the tight muscle yet. Instead, stretch the opposite side. Dr. Berg found that stretching the muscle opposing the tight or restricted muscle will create faster and more long-lasting effects. In this first stretch, we're going to stretch the neck. So the first thing we're going to do and, uh, is have you flex your neck all the way forward like this. Okay. Good. And then all the way back. And I want you to tell me which way is it restricted? More back. Okay. Go forward all the way. So it goes, it goes better going forward, right? Correct. But it's more restricted going back. Okay, so typically a person would stretch the stiff muscle. In this specific stretching exercise, you're going to stretch the good muscle. You're going to stretch the opposing muscle. So she cannot put her head back too far. That's where it's restricted. So that means the front part of the muscles are all tight. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have her stretch, not going back, but going forward. So go ahead and stretch your neck just forward like this, all the way down. Good. And then relax. And then stretch forward. And relax. Do it five times. Neck again. Again. Was that four or five? Okay. Now go back and tell me if it goes back easier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So you can do this at home. You can just go front and back. And let's say, for example, she could not push her head forward. Then we'd stretch it going back, all the way back. And if you want to assist you can just gently push your head back. And we're stretching um, the opposing muscle. Now, how does this work? Well, it works by sending signals right into the opposite side through the nerves. So, in other words, if you take a tight muscle and you stretch it, the body tends to counter it and contracts it. So we're always going to be stretching the opposite muscle to send signals to the tight muscle to let go. Because in the body, you always have um, muscle that contracts and relaxes. And if there's a damaged or stiff muscle, it can't fully contract, and so the opposite one can't fully relax. So we're going to balance this out really nice. So we did flexion and extension, and now we're going to do rotation. So I want you to turn your head all the way to the right and to the left. And tell me which side is more restricted. The left. Okay. So she <laughs> can't pull her head to the left Going this way, that means the muscles over here are tight. So, are we going to stretch it more? No, we're going to go to the opposite. We're going to have her look all the way to the right, stretch it, and relax. Let's go ahead and do it again. Good. Three. Four. And five. Good. Okay, so now go ahead and look to the left. You ever see that movie, Exorcist? No. <laughs> okay, so did that help? That did. Okay, so we have rotation. Now we're going to go side to side. You have muscles on the side <coughs> that bring it back. So I'm going to have you just tilt your ear to your shoulder this way and the opposite way and tell me which side's more restricted. Still to the left. Okay, so you, sh you can't pull it to the left as much, right? Correct. So that means the right is tight because it's like a cable. So you're going to take and stretch your ear to the right shoulder. Again, do that five times. Okay, now go to the other side. Tell me if it's any looser. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we got our head all squared away. The next part has to do with the traps. Now this is a common muscle that's extremely tight in a lot of people because their posture, they slouch. And that's these muscles up here in the shoulders. 
There's two muscles up there. They're big and they're, they attach to the neck. So they help shrug the shoulder up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the left shoulder and you're going to shrug it up like this. Okay, and then you're going to push it down all the way. Okay, and then we're going to take the other one, shrug it up, and shrug it down. And which one uh, doesn't go down as much? Left. Okay, so that means that if it doesn't go down, this muscle's tighter. So if I actually just feel left and right, this is tighter. Because if this is tight, it won't let it go down like this. So she's going to just take her left shoulder and bring it up with her head back like this. You're going to shrug it with your head back. Good. Good. Try that again. Yeah, right there. Good. Relax. Again. Good. Relax. Again. Relax. Again. Relax. Now you see what we're doing? We're stretching the muscles on the opposite down here. And let's see if, uh, go ahead and press your shoulder down now on the left and see if it's any different. Better? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you have tight shoulders and you want to melt both of those, you can do them together. So let's do it together. Let's shrug them up like this and bring your head back. And then look what I'm doing with my head. You're rocking back. Yeah, good. And then relax that. Good. Do it again. Good. Again. Good. And one more time. Good. So does that feel any different? Good. You can also take a chair and you can press, press your arms there and you can let your shoulders just come up like that and you're going to stretch that. That, that way, this, to, to loosen up the tight traps, the shoulders, you're going to stretch the muscles down here. Okay. So, now, the next stretch we're going to do is very, very um, invigorating. It has to do with your whole spine, and we're going to stretch her spine. The first thing I want to do is I want to find out where the restriction, restriction is on the spine going forward and back. Typically, people are slouched forward, they're hunched back, and you would think, logically, you just need to stretch back like this, but that's not how you fix this problem. So. Let's have you do this. I'm going to first have you um, kind of slouch down. Go ahead and slouch down. And I want, to, I want to ask you a question. If you slouch down all the way, I want to see if you feel any restriction, any part of your spine through here. If not. Okay, so she's pointing in the low back. When she goes forward, she's pulling right in her low back right here. So that's stretching this part. Okay, so that's tight. So we'll make a note of that. Okay, now I want you to slouch right from here. So if you actually face this way, all the way. So go ahead and do that first slouch just right here. Yeah. So we're going to stretch this part, and you said it was a little bit tight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now come up. Now bend at this level. Good. Any problem with that? No. Good. Bend at this level. Any problem with that? No. Good. And now we're going to bend at this level right here. Any problem with that? No. Good. And then let's have your head go all the way down right here and stretch right there. Is there any problem with that? Okay. If there was, if you're going forward and you feel tightness or it doesn't want to bend at any level of the spine, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it. So I'm going to have you lay face down with your head over here. And she feels tightness right here. So she's going to take her arms right here and she's going to look up. Uh, you're going to bend its level and just arch up. Yeah, right there. And you're going to stretch that. Relax. Do it again. Good. Again. Good. And one more time. Okay. Now, you can relax. If she was going to, let's say she had tightness right here, she would just kind of come up and look and stretch this one part right here and relax. Wherever it's tight going forward, you're going to do a back motion to stretch that. Okay? So, go ahead and um, sit up for me. And face that way. Now, go forward and tell me if this is any looser down here. Yes. 
Okay, so this will actually loosen up the low back. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back the other way. So I want you to, for this one, let's go ahead and have you um, stand right here. And I'm going to have you um, just face this way and kind of arch back. Good. Any problem with that? Just a little here. Okay, that's the very lower part. Good. Come this way right here. Now. And just arch the back. Look, look up to the ceiling and keep your back. Yeah. Any problem with that? No. Going back. Okay. So if there was, then we're going to actually do something else. So she basically feels stiffness in the lower back right through in here. So I'm going to have her sit right here and face that way. Now, if you notice, when she goes back, that means the front part of the muscles are tight. So we're not going to stretch going back further. We're going to actually bring the legs on a little bit, right, a little bit more. And you're going to go forward. Just bend at your hips. Is that stiff in there? A little bit. Okay. Good. Bring the legs out a little bit more. Right there. And just kind of drop at the pelvis level right there. Yeah, and stretch it out. Okay. Good. Do it again. And we're going to stretch at whatever level it's stiff, going backwards. One more time. Good. Now go ahead and stand up. Now let's see if you go back any more, if that actually helped you. Yes. I, I think that's, that would be yes. Good. <laughs> so you can have a seat right here. And um, there's another way you can do this as well. And we're going to use this little ball right here. So um, one of the things that um, if you have a problem going back, let's say you, you're stiff and you just can't go back up here, okay? you would actually slouch down more and you would flex into it with your shoulders. So let's say, for example, you find that you can't go back in the upper shoulders, you would actually lean forward. So just go ahead and grab your arms like this and just slouch your upper back down forward and go forward like this with your head and you keep stretching, come up, come down, come up, come down. So going forward allows, gives space and allows the body to come back up this way. So as compared to what most people, they stretch going backwards. Now let's say, for example, she, um, she actually goes forward and, it, and she can't go forward with her head. So just kind of put your head forward and, you, and just pretend like it's stiff going forward. You just can't move going forward and you feel tension. Let's have you face this way. If you put your head forward and you feel tension, Let's say to the upper back. I don't think you do, but let's say she felt tension right there. Okay, in this maneuver, we're going to have her sit on the ball, and you can get these balls anywhere, and I'm have you just, you're going to slouch down, and you're going to actually rock your back over, yes, this point right here, right there. So now, her back doesn't go forward this way, so we're going to hyperextend it. We're going to bring it back, and she's going to rock back, so her head's right there. You feel that stretch in the upper back? And then she's going to rock back this way with her legs and stretch it this way. And what this is going to allow her to do is basically be able to put her head forward down this way. It's going to create a lot of space. This is stretching the ligaments on the front part of the vertebra. You can even do this over your bed. Just rock your head back a little bit over the bed. Just don't fall on your head. <coughs> but um, this is very good for the spine. It's very invigorating. It feels real good. And that's how you stretch the spine out. This next stretch is going to be side to side. So you're going to be basically stretching all the way like this. Okay, and there's a bunch of muscles that people have a problem with down here. And we're going to find out which one is the stiff one. So go ahead and tilt all the way to the left side. Good. Now let's compare that to the other side. And which one is more restricted? Here. Okay, so you can't go to the left as much? Correct. Okay, so are we going to stretch it more. No, we're going to go to the good side. So go ahead and stretch to the right and really stretch that down and relax. And then do it again. Good. And, ag and again. Good. And again. Good. Now let's go to the other side and see if there's any difference. 
Good. So you see what we're trying to do? We're trying to get the symmetry between left and right because if you're going to do exercising or anything like that, you want the symmetry and you want the function, you want the flexibility. Okay, so, and that's how you stretch the side to side. The next stretch has to do with the shoulders. Now, you've got muscles on the front part, the back part, on the top, and right underneath here to create all sorts of motions. Your, your shoulders twist in and twist out, go up and down, go like this, go front and back. So lots of times people have imbalances with the shoulder muscles and the back part. It's called a rotator cuff. So what we're going to do, and this is going to be something you're going to do at home, is you're going to check the flexibility. The first one we're going to do is lifting the arm up like this, okay? You're going to lift that up like that. Okay, good. Put it down. Now let's compare that to the other side. Okay, which one's easier? The right. Okay. So she cannot move up this much. So what's happening is the muscles in the back I won't let her lift up. So what we're going to do is we are going to stretch going back, okay? So the way you can do this is you can actually put your right here and touch that and you can actually step off and kind of stretch going down like this, okay? And we're trying to stretch this muscle going right back and tell me if you feel pull right through in here. No. Okay, good. Kind of come up. Good, come down, and we're just trying to do a stretch, and you can do this on a chair, and you want to come up and down. Good, one more time. Good, now have a seat. Now, go ahead and lift that arm up, see if it goes up easier. Okay, that frees it right up. So now what we did is we just made her arm go up symmetrical left and right, okay? Now the next muscle, let's just check, let's step going back. This is called uh, flexion, going back here and going back here. Let's see if there's any restriction going either side. So, just on the left side. so the left side doesn't go back as much. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it the other way. And the way I like to do this is actually kneeling and you can actually put your Put your arm on this while you're kneeling and stretch that out. Yes. Uh huh. And you're going to actually come back a little bit, and you're going to stretch it like this. You're going to see that right like that. So you're going to stretch. Yes, just like that. And all we're doing is we're trying to get it into a motion where we can stretch the top part right here. And you're going to kind of stretch it and relax. And by the way, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Typically, the breathing pattern is when you're stretching, you're breathing in, and when you're relaxing, you're breathing out. All right, good. So have a seat up here. Now, let's go ahead and compare here to here. Okay, Same. good. So we got it symmetrical. This next stretch, we're going to actually bring her arm out. So we're going to see which one goes up more. So you're going to bring it straight out and bring it all the way up. Good. Now the other one. It seems like the right one goes up easier. Okay. So this one doesn't want to go up very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arm down, but the body is in the way. So we're going to go slightly in the back. So I'm going to have you stand up and turn around and actually show people how you're going to take that arm and you're going to stretch it just like that. You got it. She's stretching all these muscles on the top part right through here. Do you feel a nice stretch with that? Yes. Okay, good. Now have a seat. And let's see if you go ahead and uh, can raise that arm going up a little bit different. Good. Excellent. That's the shoulder. It's called um, abduction. This next move has to do with the front part of the muscles called the pecs. So we're going to see which one's more restricted. So you, just like when you do a bench press, you bring the arm all the way back. We're going to do one at a time. Go ahead and press your arm back to the right. Good. Now the left. And tell me which one is harder to bring back. To the left. Okay. So the left one does not go back. So we're going to take it and go forward and take your hand and stretch it going inward. 
So we're stretching what's called the rotators, which help rotate back here. And, um, and relax. Good. Stretch it again. Good. Again. Do that about five times. Good. Now go all the way back. See if it goes back any easier. Yeah. Good. So the next stretch is going to be the low back. Um, a lot of people sit all day long. They sit on one side. They cross their legs. They have all sorts of imbalances. We're going to show you how to stretch low back so it feels really good. First stretch is a muscle in the back that um, attaches to your hip bone and to your low back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use any book, a thickness of a, like about this thick, and you're going to put it in the ground. And I'm going to, I'll demonstrate first, okay? You're going to take one foot and you're going to step on it and you're going to drop your pelvis down. So go ahead and face this way, this way here. Yeah. Here. And then you're going to drop your foot down, but keep your, keep your knee straight. And so the pelvis is dropped down, but your body is straight. Now, do you feel it straining on the low back? I mean, we want to stretch the low back. It is stretching here. Okay, good. So we're going to compare that motion to the other side and go down. And you might want to grab a... Good. Do you feel that stretching? Tighter. It's tighter. Okay, it's so, so this one, this side is tighter. So let's go ahead and stretch the good side. And you come down, come up, and really stretch that down there. Good. You might even have to lean more to this side when you come down. Yes. And all the motion is going to be in the pelvis. Keep your knee locked. And uh, we're stretching the lower back. Good. Good. Now go ahead and do the other side. This gives the low back a lot of relief. Does that feel better? Yes. Good. So this stretch will help even up the hips. So the next uh, thing we're going to uh, check is there's two muscles on the inside of the pelvis down here, and they allow the knee to go up this direction right through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have her bring her knee up, and this is called flexion, all the way up as high as you can. Good. Put it down. And compare that to the other side. And which one's easier? The right. The right side. It seems like all your problems are on the left side. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have her lay on the uh, stomach. Okay. And we're going to stretch this leg. And I don't know if you can grab your ankle. Can you grab your ankle? And kind of stretch up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's good. Stretch it and relax. Stretch. Relax. Do that five times. So what she's doing is she's stretching the opposing muscle and that will bring it up nicely. These stretches are exactly opposite most people are doing. Let's have you flip on your back now. And let's bring this knee up. See if it goes up easier. That's much better. Great. And that's how you stretch out the uh, muscles that bring the knees up. So the next stretch has to do with the muscles on the buttocks area. The muscles of the buttocks actually rotate the leg outward like here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it inside internally to see if either one is tight. So we're going to bring the knee by crossing the leg. I'm going to bring it in this way and you want to rock forward a little bit and you want to feel the difference between this side and this side. So go ahead and stretch. Okay, which side's tighter? The right. Okay, so that means that she can't move this as much. That means this is tight. So we're going to actually stretch this the opposite direction. So you're going to sit, um, why don't you sit and bring your legs out like this for me, right on the bench. And we're going to stretch that one going down, yes, right down there. And then relax it. Because this stretches the opposing muscles.
Good. Now go ahead and cross your leg and see if that comes up a little bit better. Yes. Good. The next muscle we're going to stretch is the muscle that attaches from here to here. And there's a big long muscle, there's a tendon here. This thing gets really, really tight, especially if you have a knee problem or a sprained ankle. So we're going to first bring this knee, drop it down, and bring it down and kind of stretch. Okay? I want you to feel that. Good. Now let's compare it with the other side. Okay. So it doesn't seem to go down as much, right? So this side's tighter. You got that? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and stand up right here. And the way we're going to stretch the outside of the leg is we're going to stretch it. We're going to do actually a, a stretch on the inside of the leg right here. So go ahead and stretch the inside of the leg. and. We want to really stretch that inside, and you can also do this sitting, but we're going to do it standing, and do that five times. Good. Now lay it on your side and face that way, and let's see if it comes down more. Goes right down. Does that feel looser? Good. So that's how you would stretch the outside of the leg. So we stretch the outside of the leg. Now let's actually stretch the inside. First let's check to see if it's tight. So there's muscles that bring the leg together. So what we'll do is we're going to have you bring out one leg at a time and see if, uh, which one's stiffer as far as that. Uh, get the toe forward like this. Yeah, and then what you're going to do is you're going to lean into and tell me, I want you to compare that to the other side. Which one's tighter? This one. Okay. So she's tight on the inside of the leg, so we're going to stretch the outside of the leg, and we're going to make this shorter. So she's going to actually bring the knee like this, okay, and you're going to lean forward into that. Do you feel it? Is that tight? Yes. Okay. So you're going to stretch it about five times. Okay, I'm going to also bring this knee up like that and see if you could face, come this way. There we go. And see if you can, is that a better stretch? Yes. Okay. You can also do this on the floor, sitting. Okay, good. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and bring the leg out and see if it's any looser. Yeah, just like that seems to be a little looser. Good. So she would want to work on that over and over until it's completely flexible. Doing this type of stretch will speed up your flexibility uh, tremendously as compared to traditionally. See, if she just stretched this muscle over and over and over, it would never, never relax because when you stretch a muscle, it actually contracts. It makes it tighter. So there's two muscles that work opposing each other to bring the knee up and back, okay? It helps you climb stairs. And if you're climbing downstairs and you have a hard time, we know the front part of the muscle is going to be weak. So we're going to, right now we're checking flexibility. So she's going to check the front part of the muscle called the quadricep. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring your leg your, and your ankle and bring it forward and see if you can do that. Okay. Now, typically should, she should be able to touch the heel to the butt. If you can't do that, then you have a tight quad. If you can come right here, that's loose. So we're going to compare that to the other one. And which one's easier? The right, the right one. So the left one is tight. Now, to, we're going to stretch out the left hamstring. So she's going to be sitting with her leg up, and you can sit on your bed or a couch, and we're going to go forward like this, okay? So go ahead and do that motion. Perfect. That's good. Good. And now, let's add the breathing in there. When you actually go down, breathe in. And relax, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you breathe, you're stimulating the nervous system and you're also putting oxygen into the muscle.
it's interesting how we're stretching the hamstring to loosen up the front part of the muscle and the leg. So go ahead and restretch it. Let's see if there's any difference. Yes. Good. So we just made her flexible. Now let's, let's stretch the hamstring now. Let's check the hamstring. Have a seat right here. And bring up your leg right here. And we're going to check each hamstring is the muscle in the back part. We're going to stretch each, each one separate to see which one's tight. Go ahead and uh, stretch this side. Okay. Looks like she's, she's uh, able to do that. Most people cannot touch their toes. So let's try the other one. Is there a stiff one? Left. Okay. So we're going to take the left leg, which is this one, and we're going to stretch the quad. And we're going to actually just bring that back this way. Okay. Because we're stretching the opposing muscle. And you're going to contract it and then relax and contract it and relax. Okay, now let's check your hamstring on that side. Feel better? Okay, now the key, if you want to, um, if you have tight hamstrings, that means we want to work on this muscle right here. And this is the quadricep. And um, the more you stretch the front part, the more the opposite side will get loose. So as you stretch this, it sends information to the brain to tell this one to let go. That's how it works. So that's how you do the uh, hamstring quad stretch. So the next stretch, we're going to stretch the calf. And um, the way we're going to do that, we're going to have like a book or a step. And we're going to actually put the foot on there, top of the foot, and you're going to lean forward. And I want you to feel the stretch. And you can compare that to the other side. Which one's tighter? It's to the left. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're not going to stretch the left to fix that. She's going to be bringing her, uh, her foot on the table with her toes stretched like this. And you can do this on a bed. And she's going to gently bring this down. Some people can sit on it. So you want to gently start stretching the front part right here. So go ahead and bring. So they can see it? Yes. <laughs> Now notice she's, she's tight here. We're going to stretch the front part so we actually stretch that. And she can, typically, if you're tight in the calf, this is going to be difficult to do. But if she wants to get more of a stretch, she can just lean backwards and keep stretching the foot. This is also good for flat feet, uh, uh, pain in the bottom of the foot, but not shin splints. There's another move for that. Good. You rock that about five times. Now what's happening as she's doing this is she's sending signals into the calf muscle to relax this as she's stretching this. And this is a routine. All these uh, maneuvers should be done at once and you can do this every day or every other day to really keep your body flexible. Is that better? Yes. Very good. Good. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to you're gonna, we're going to check the uh, front part of the muscle on the shin. This, this maneuver will uh, check to see if someone has shin splints or um, tight muscles on right here. We c and people that have high arches will have a problem with this. So go ahead and bring your foot and we're just going to check this compared to the other side. On, yeah, right through in here. So she's sitting on her ankle and I want you to feel that and then compare it to the other side. Okay, which one's tighter? Still the left. Still the left. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch your calf out on the left. And you want to lean forward. Yeah, good. Lean forward and keep stretching that out. You can even keep a notepad and make notes of all the weak weaknesses. And your routine every day could be done just to straight s stretch the weak links repetitively over and over as compared to both checking each time. So that way you can focus on your, your stiff muscles. Within about a week to two weeks, 
your muscles should be totally symmetrical. So that's how you go through the routine and um, I hope you enjoyed this stretching video. I think it's going to help you tremendously and um, send me your success stories. Thanks for watching. We recommend you isolate the tight muscles and work them for a few weeks. Once symmetrical, go through the routine and stretch all your muscles to keep symmetry, balance, and flexibility.